People judge me usually first glance. Then when I open my mouth, it's something different. Um, because I have eczema, I have very bad eczema, it's hard to get a job because most people won't hire me. Because as much as I may have the brains or the skills, I don't have the face for it. Um, I have gone through times where I've been on the bus and an entire bus, just people on the bus literally crawled to one side of the bus and I had like 50 seats to myself because of my skin condition. So, and then on top of that being so young, people think I'm promiscuous. I probably got seven different fathers. For my kids only have two dads. Five for one, two for the other. People draw their own conclusion when they see me in my situation. A lot of people, if they would stop to ask, they would find out that this is not a brag or boast of that. I'm highly intelligent, easygoing, fun to be around, you know? Um, hardworking, tenacious. I give my all and I give it freely. Sometimes, you know, all you need is a chance and I find that chances so far have not been forthcoming. No one really understands what I go through day to day just trying to keep an applicable roof over my kid's head when the rain falls. Whereas everybody is worrying about what they're going to eat tomorrow. I'm worrying about where my kids are going to sleep. When it comes to food, day to day, everybody has to choose. Oh, well, maybe we'll have spaghetti or chicken. I have to figure out if there's going to be anything in my fridge, period. I have to deal with different types of emotions from different ages of kids. My daughter is constantly bullied, constantly a lot of it has a lot to do with where she comes from. My daughter's school life has been hell. She's been called all sorts of things. Her friends tease her because of me. Which daughter is this? My daughter, Brianna, my oldest. My sons also go through it as well, but not as badly as she does. My daughter, when her grandmother died, she and her grandmother were best friends. Just like me and my mom were. And... My daughter lost a piece of herself. And what made it worse is that when she got back to school, people started to use that against her. And it broke my daughter to the point where their day going to school hasn't been very constant. Because I worry constantly for my kids. With the violence in Barbados today, you don't know whether your children are going to come home under normal circumstances, let alone where they're being ganged upon and bullied constantly. On top of that, I can't afford basic things like tablets for them to take to school. Their uniforms usually have to come from organizations. It's not as easy as people would like to believe. Yeah, I get help from various organizations and stuff like that. But it's one or two. It's, it's not like I'm sitting waiting on a handout or people just come and say, oh, you can have this. Some days, I don't eat so my kids could. And some meals are meager, to say the least. It has to split seven ways. If my godchildren are here, it has to split 11 ways. You understand? It's not easy. It is far from easy. I suffer from depression because sometimes, yes, it does feel hopeless. It really does. It doesn't feel like I'll make it to see my 50th birthday because I'm stressed out all the time. I really am. I just honestly want to be a good mom to provide things that my kids would need, not what they want, what they would need. And I'm tired of them having to face a harsh reality long before they should have to face it. Their dads, People constantly ask me about their dads. If it, was, if it was as simple as holding them accountable, I do that. I know I didn't get them on my own, but if I spend my time wondering about what they're doing, what's going to happen to my kids? If I spend the energy that I should be taking to raise my kids to make sure they're better people than the generation before them, what, what sense is that? I'm not just sitting here idly twittering my tongue saying, well, 
I want someone to support me, I would be happy to go support myself. I would. But when you go fill out applications and the phone interview is great because they love your voice, but then when they see you, it's no more. What can you do? And most of the things that I'm proficient in requires me to be seen. So, walk in a hard place.